Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we have something very important to discuss in the world of jailbreaking. Originally, I had hoped I wouldn't have to make this video. However, so much misinformation is spreading right now throughout the community that it's starting to become a necessity that I do. So essentially, let me break down what's happening. Over the past few days, several individuals have taken to Twitter to post out fake screenshots as well as jailbreak teasers that they've successfully accomplished a jailbreak on a currently unjailbreakable firmware, whether that's iOS 9.1 being the release that originally patched the Pangu 9 jailbreak for up to iOS 9.0.2 or 9.2, 9.2.1, the latest public firmware, or even iOS 9.3 beta. I'm here to tell you that absolutely all of them are fake, and I'm not going to mention any names in today's video just because I do not want to promote any single Twitter account. I am, however, going to talk about Hacker Luca Tedesco. We have mentioned him before, and it seems like these fakers may be an indirect consequence of his recent rise in Twitter followers. And if you don't know who Luca Tedesco is, I have a great playlist on that very topic, as well as all of his recent updates. You can check out those videos. I will have a link to the playlist on your screens now, as well as down below in the more info. See, Luca Tedesco has gained a number of Twitter followers as of late due to all of his antics, which of course can be found detailed and explained in depth in said playlist. And over the weekend, one individual in particular took to Twitter, claimed he had a jailbreak, and gained over 400 followers in a very short period of time. He then later went to the jailbreak community on Reddit and explained the situation and that people just shouldn't be as gullible as they are. Well, that's easy for him to say because let me tell you, there are so many individuals right now who are desperately awaiting the release of a new jailbreak that they're pretty much willing to believe anything. Unfortunately, that that's just the truth of the situation right now. They'll even fall for certain scams. And that is another dangerous thing that's occurring right now in the world of jailbreaking. If you have yet to watch my video on how to detect jailbreak scams, I definitely recommend watching that. It is on your screens now. And I'd be willing to bet that the number of jailbreak scams will start to go up as we move forward in light of all of these fakes and the publicity that they've received throughout the community. Because see, what will happen is more and more people will start to believe them and then individuals with malicious intent who aren't just trying to gain attention will start to take note of this and they'll draw the conclusion that people are more gullible than they had originally anticipated. Unfortunately, even more scams are going to start to propagate across the web because of this, but we're starting to get off topic. So let's go ahead and loop back around to the original point here. You might be wondering, well, how do I know for a fact that these jailbreaks are fake? Because let me tell you, everyone up until this point who has claimed that they have have jailbroken and unjailbreakable firmware and that they plan to release a new utility is lying. They're simply doing it because of the attention and because they can build up followers quickly because of the current state of desperation of the community as a whole. I'm not going to show them, but just because individuals have tweeted out screenshots does not mean they're legitimate and does not mean they have jailbroken a specific firmware. See, even if it's a screenshot of the terminal application with the uname A command, which essentially just prints and information on the device, such as which firmware it's running, as well as the kernel version. And of course, by the way, terminal can only run on a jailbroken device, so that in itself is proof that it is at the very least jailbroken. That doesn't mean that you can't bake something like that in post. So what I mean by that is editing it in something like Photoshop or really any other sort of image editing software. It really doesn't matter. Even though there was one in particular that Luca Tedesco confirmed the specific kernel version for iOS 9.3, that doesn't mean it's legitimate. These people are starting to come out of the woodworks in droves right now. And really what would be more believable is a video, but even that is something that can be faked with the proper experience and knowledge. I'm not going to detail exactly what they do and how to do it to fake one of those videos simply because I do not want to spread that information. But let me tell you, creating a fake video is definitely possible. Really the only thing that we can look for for information or confirmation prior to the release of a new jailbreak is word from a trusted source. And yes, while Luca Tedesco does troll the community quite a bit, he's still a trusted source. We just have to sift through some of his tweets. But as for others, the only two that we can blindly trust are Taiji as well as Pangu. We should adopt a policy of fake until proven otherwise. So if they've released a full-fledged jailbreak or contributed to the community in the past in some way, shape, or form, that will definitely lend to their credibility and will make them a trustworthy 
these sewers. Remember, these other individuals just see that they can gain followers and some attention by posting out some screenshots or some claims that they have successfully achieved an untethered jailbreak when in reality, they haven't. And Luca Tedesco unfortunately isn't helping the situation. He's tweeting out specific things and retweeting other people's tweets just to kind of stir up the community and to show how gullible people really are. Moving on to something else that's also very interesting and related, last night Luca Tedesco tweeted out what appeared to be a zero-day exploit, which is essentially just a previously undisclosed exploit, so one that could be used in a jailbreak. He tweeted out this link to ghost bin and essentially that's just some code so this was supposedly the exploit however later actually today he confirmed that it does not work or it will not be usable he stated quote it turns out that analyzing a bug found by chance at 5 a.m does not work out underlying cause was different so i also wanted to mention that in today's video just to get you guys fully caught up on everything that's happening in the world of jailbreaking right now. Remember, no one who's posting images on Twitter or claims that they can jailbreak or release a new untethered utility are actually legitimate. I will keep you guys completely notified and informed, especially if someone actually comes up other than Taiji or Pangu that looks like they're going to release a jailbreak. So just be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my chilling name if you have yet to, and then just like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. That way you'll be completely notified. And then just be sure to share out this video if you found the information in it helpful and give it a huge thumbs up. That way we can kind of raise awareness amongst individuals who are so desperately awaiting the release of a new jailbreak. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.